welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We just came from an insanely cool episode where Marcus was in a, a graveyard, uh, not graveyard, a junkyard, and managed to rebuild himself and come back to life. How epic was that? We also have Kara and Alice currently staying at a hotel, which I basically robbed to get into, well, robbed a store to get into. But yeah, let's continue. And now we're back with Connor. Hey! November 6th now. That's the way the calendar works. <laughs> oh, this place looks lovely. What is this place? There's gotta be a ma No, there wouldn't be a magazine in a place like this, surely. Is there any reason why I've started off just at a dead end? Find a ma- Find Amanda? Who on earth is Amanda? a reason why what what's the point in that then <gasps> who's that that's Amanda we don't want to see you yet am I like where, where is this amazing place? Hello, Amanda. You're human, right? Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. I know. Finding that deviant was far from easy. I'm doing great with this game, thank you for congratulating me. And the way you me. interrogated <laughs> it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. I know I have. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us the for further DPD? study. The DPD? may teach us something about what, what happened. the parcel delivery company? The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, she it will like be helpful that. for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I know I don't want this episode to be too long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she didn't like that outcome, neither did I. Oh. How many times am I going to see the same woman? She's all over the place. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. 
Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Thank you. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Yeah. I heard voices that are like interesting voices. Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to there either side. Thanks. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of intolerable... Oh, good grief. There's a lot to analyze. ...provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden... I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. And an international conference to it's be that desk right there. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. Why is there so many interactions here? Person. What? Poor person. You're kidding me. Poor brow. Read. You and you come with me. Miller. Is this just a box of money? That doesn't have a name. Lieutenant Anderson, hooray. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. <laughs> I don't want to sit down. Do I? I I'll probably be. I don't want to be sit down. I don't want to sit down. You'll probably get annoyed at that I sat down. Explore a new office. Okay. Oh. What's he been listening to? Dark Heavy Metal, release date 2021. Hey, that was released last year, uh, two years ago. There's gotta be a magazine lying around here somewhere. There he is. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! androids on my desk every day we've always had isolated incidents old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap but now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night 
This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. <laughs> Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work Surely to do. you hate criminals too, like, come on. I have to save him at some point. I don't know how and when. Uh... I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. What? That's not what I wanted. I wasn't expecting that outcome. Mm. Hey, I found him. <gasps> My guy, famous Detroit painter, dies. Carl Manford, one of the drives by advice. UN warns of World War Three. President Warren at first. Aww. So sad. Detroit today, Ivanov says night. So that's Russia. Ivanov is by that point. Ivanov says night. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. That is sad. There's nothing else to be said, right? Constructive, understand. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Oh. I don't just, I don't, I sound so like fake, you know what I mean? Like, I don't sound humane. Uh, Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? <laughs> well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> you have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Hey, hey. I call him Sumo. He's, he's not a bad guy, he just doesn't like me. <laughs> You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. 
Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh, <laughs> oh went down stairs. Oh, I went down. Dang it. Hank. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering... There is one. It's because of my obnoxious. Why is it going down? Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Can you stop hating me, please? I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Ah. Oh. So it's, oh, is that? No, that's not Daniel, is it? Mm. The plant, the plant, the plant, the, the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, and then the, 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 the android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking a fight. Wait, can I just keep looking through these? Destroyed. Famous Carl Manford was found dead in his home. Following an altercation between his android and his son, the latter's witness statement arrests attests to the android being le behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. Oh, <gasps> and there's the other one. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an IX400 model. The android has just returned from being repaired the previous day and has shown signs of aggression in the past. Notice how there's no mention of the daughter. Like, what? Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit. That's a and short time for that many incidents. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. He doesn't care, man. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. Let's go it was really up to me to throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. <laughs> I have disturbing. some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Mm, come on, man. Stop hating me. I'm a good guy. I'm the only android that hasn't had anything dramatically bad happen, except for you shot Daniel. Know your partner. Mm. Hank got a lead. Uh, so we still got one more to do, I think. We continue. Yeah. Maybe I can return the money now somehow. Kara and Alice, yeah. Is this, so this is another feelings game where you've got people trusting you, people hating you, people all this and all that. Let Alice rest. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. 
What? Was I supposed to let her race? No, it wasn't a nightmare. How about a nice warm bath? And then we can go out and try to get you something to eat. What do you say? I don't know, a morning bath? Does that work? Okay. That's trust. I'll yeah. bring you a bath. Do androids wash? Like, or do they? Like, I'm curious, but I'm not saying, oh, have a bath. I'm just saying, like, because she's electronic in a sense. What are you doing? Cut. Why are you cutting? Why are you cutting your hair? What purpose is that going to do? Oh, it's identity maybe. I don't really see the purpose in that. Hmm. Uh... Or is it? I don't know. <gasps> I'm becoming human as well. Oh. If it's that easy to do, like, really? If it's that easy to do, why aren't more people doing it? If more thingy majiggers doing it. Cartoon are you watching? You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. I am a human. Your bath's oh. ready. Canada. Michael, I'm joined by Corktown resident Todd Williams, <gasps> Todd who was Williams. violently attacked by his AX-400. Jumped on me. Managed to defend myself, but it went, went crazy. I thought it was going to kill me. So I fought it off, but it ran away. Thank you, Todd. He's not said anything about his daughter. Disturbing news for android owners everywhere. Police have launched a search to find the android. Let's hope they find it fast. I don't understand. It's not true. He's lying. Yeah, I know he's lying. He's the one who tried to hurt us. Yeah, but what are we gonna do? She, he never Have mentioned you once. And the police are looking for us now. Contact Android. Can't stay here. Family. That Android yesterday. He gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. That was a quick bath. Uh... It's us against the world, Alice. Just the two of us. We have to learn to trust each other. I only have you. And you only have me. Well, that's kind of sad. And I'm going to do everything. What you're saying? She's never going to grow up and have her own family. That's sad. You just kind of killed all our dreams. Finished getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Well, you ain't got any money, so I have no idea how you're going to get any food. Is bathing. What do you mean she's bathing? I thought she just finished the bath. Oh, there's the police. <gasps> that's the... that's... that's Connor. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. 
Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Warm. Ben, yeah, still at the motel. I don't want to search that. Some uniforms cordon off the area. You wait in the car. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. No. Neutral. God's sake. Hopefully... Us being together means that I'm gonna stop. Uh, I'm gonna let her escape. I'm scared. Like he's getting angrier and angrier at me. It's okay with me being here. Okay. Did they escape? They're not here. How have they managed to escape? They're not in the shower. It's gone. How? That's your plan. Reach trains. Get him. That's not what I wanted to do. They're over there. Come on, run. I'm going to let you escape. I'm going to let you escape because I need the trophy. I'm going to let you escape. I'm going to let you escape. Haha. -ha. Insane. What's insane? I let them go for a trophy. That's so annoying. That why did I get caught? Where's my trophy? Am I not getting the trophy? Cross the highway. What? There it is. Run, Cara, run. Hey. Oh. Well, there's, it looks like there's so much more that could have happened, which is good. But anyways, that's the end of this episode. Until next time, whatever I play, bye.